hello viewers and welcome to my channel uh, this video is for the causes of uh, dysentery so as in the previous video i told that there are two types of the dysentery one is caused by the bacteria another one is caused by the parasites now uh, bacterial dysentery uh, which is medically known as uh, uh, shagellosis it's caused by the bacteria called uh, shagella and there are four different types of the shagella bacteria uh, like uh, uh, shagella sonne shagella flexneri f shagella uh, boidi and uh, the other one is shagella dysentery so these are the different uh, types of the shagella bacteria and uh, they are found in the uh, like uh, excreta like feces and uh, they are spread through the poor hygiene uh, for example uh, if you are not washing your hands after the uh, having diarrhea uh, after using going to the toilet and if you do not wash your hands uh, you can transfer these uh, bacteria to other uh, to the other surfaces and from the healthy persons around you can get those bacteria from those places so this way you spread the bacteria from yourself to the other people you who are living around you so the most cases of uh, this type of dysentery are spread within the families and in the places uh, uh, like uh, uh, where the people come to close contact to each other such as schools or hotels or uh, military bases or uh, uh, day centers so this condition can uh, uh, disease can be spread for up to four weeks after the person has become infected so uh, and this is more likely to happen in countries where uh, there is poor uh, sanitation uh, water supplies and sewage disposals are inadequate or the human feces are used for fertilizers and uh, uh, the severe dysentery is more common in the developing countries and uh, at the time between uh, coming into the contact with the bacteria uh, uh, and the symptoms uh, start uh, the incubation period is usually one to seven days so that was about the bacterial dysentery the next one is amoebic dysentery it's caused by the amoeba which is a single cell parasite and it's called uh, entamoeba uh, histolic so this is the name of that amoeba the parasite and it's mainly found in the tropical areas uh, so it's usually picked up while you're abroad on holidays and uh, when the amoebas uh, uh, inside the ball of an infected person are ready to leave the body uh, they group together and form the shell or they form the cysts to protect themselves uh, and this group of amoeba is called the cyst and the cyst passes out of the person's body in their feces and is able to survive outside the body so if the hygiene standards are poor uh, for example if a person does not dispose of their feces his, uh, hygienically and uh, it can con uh, contaminate the surroundings such as nearby food or water and if another person uh, then eats or the drinks the food which is contaminated so he can get those feces and uh, parasites and can cause uh, dysentery to their person. So the amoebic dysentery is particularly common in the parts of the world where the human feces are used as the fertilizers. And this is a common practice in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. So after entering uh, the person's body uh, through their mouth, the cyst will travel down into the stomach. So the amoebas inside the cyst are protected uh, from the stomach digestive acids so they manage to survive and from the stomach they enter to the intestines uh, where they will break uh, the shell that will break and they will release the amoebas uh, which will cause the infection there and they can cause the ulcers in the intestines where the bleeding can happen uh, and there through the bloodstream those uh, parasites can and go to the uh, liver where they can make the cysts so those are called the liver cysts and uh, and uh, 
So the MIVAS that caused dysentery can also be sexually transmitted during the mouse to uh, uh, anal contact. So uh, between these two, the parasitic dysentery is more serious or more dangerous because those parasites are more resistant. They have made the cysts which uh, mostly it manages to, manages to pass from the uh, stomach to the intestines where it breaks and uh, uh, parasites are released and then they can cause problems there. So, uh, so these are the causes of it. So the poor hygiene, poor hygiene, uh, poor dysentery and uh, uh, like exposure to the, uh, those parasites or the contaminated foods or contaminated water or the feces uh, can cause uh, the dysentery bacteria in parasitic moths. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information, you can visit my website. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, or share these videos to support this channel. The next video will be about the diagnosis of the dysentery, or the bacteria, or the parasitic dysentery. So keep watching. Goodbye.